Hello guys, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a claim your telos through scatter video So this is it now whether or not you've had scatter desktop installed or have not had it installed yet It does not matter. You're gonna have to upgrade to the latest version of scatter scatter version 10 You need to have at least scatter version 10 to be able to hook up a telos account to it so starting off on the git dash scatter site I will leave this linked in the description. We either come to download scatter or the download button up here in the corner. Click download scatter and that'll take you to the scatter GitHub page. And on the scatter GitHub page, the most recent release is at the top. This is the one you'll want to use. Looks like they've had a couple updates to scatter 10 already, which came out a day ago. Use the most recent release of scatter. So I will be updating my scatter 9.6, I believe it was, up to scatter 10. This is the same if you were just downloading Scatter for the first time. If you're using Linux, use the Linux link. If you're using Mac, use the Mac link. And I'm using Windows, so I'm going to use the Windows link. Go ahead and give that a click and let it download. Okay, now the file is downloaded that we need to run. For me on Chrome, this is just down here in the downloads bar. Uh, for you, you might need to check your downloads folder in order to see the file. But for those that have already downloaded Scatter Desktop and are just using this to update, make sure your Scatter Desktop is closed and you're not in it right now. And all we need to do is click the executable file to run it. Alright, if you're on Windows, you might get this Windows Protected Your PC. Simply click More Info. Check to make sure it is what you downloaded. Windows Scatter 10.0.1 EXE. Yes, I want to run this, so I'm going to click Run anyway. And that pulls up the first box of the Scatter st Setup Installer here. Uh, you got a couple options. Anyone who uses this computer, only me. I always like to keep it what it has right out of the box. So only me. Next. And this is the destination folder. You can change this if you like. I keep it right where it wants to put it. And click Install. Alright, Scatter has now been installed. If you click finish with this run scatter clicked, it'll automatically pull up scatter for you. I'm going to unclick it and click finish there. And open it via the desktop icon that it created with the installer. Here is the desktop icon. I'm going to double click it to enter the scatter wallet. Alright, and here is the scatter wallet. And since for myself, I was just upgrading the scatter wallet to version 10 from a previous version. I will just need to input a password or backup phrase. If you are downloading Scatter Desktop for the first time, you will have a couple more steps to go through in which you will copy down your 12 word recovery phrase as well as create a password before entering the Scatter Wallet. But for me, I'm simply going to input my password and click enter. All right, and this is a new layout, new user interface for the Scatter desktop application. Okay, now that we are in Scatter version 10, we need to turn on the Telos network. So come up here to the gear icon and come down here to networks. At this point, you will need to input your password again to gain access. Click confirm. So right now, out of the box, it only has the EOS mainnet, ETH mainnet, and Tron mainnet activated. So simply come over to known networks. And here you can see it has Telos mainnet as well as Warbly mainnet. So this is a, we're doing this for Telos. Telos mainnet, click add. And now it has been added in to our networks. So now we have the ability to connect to the Telos mainnet. So now in order to connect our account to the Telos mainnet, we need to input our Genesis block private key. So come down here to add keys. And this gives you the option to create new keys, import an existing or create a new EOS account. We are going to be importing an existing key. So click import key. You can do it via text, hardware wallet or QR. I'm going to go via text. And at this point, this is where you input your private key. And once we input our private key, that'll take us to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and input mine now. So I'm going to give this key a name. And just to make it simple. So now if we go to linked accounts, we can see the accounts linked via that private key. And it has one of my EOS Genesis block accounts here attached to the EOS mainnet. And since we activated the Telos mainnet, 
that same EOS Genesis block account is now connected to the Telos mainnet. And if we click the tokens, we can see the Telos tokens in the Telos wallet now. Um, this is one of my Genesis block test accounts. I believe it only had 15 EOS in it, so it should have 15 Telos. Yes, there is 10 Telos unstaked and 5 staked. This is how every account will be. There will be 10 unstaked, and then the rest of the balance will be in staked up until block 1 million when you can unstake them. So we are set up now and ready to go and can now use Scatter Desktop with our Telos accounts. Now in order to be considered an active account and get in that original snapshot at block 6 million, I believe you need to perform an action, either voting, staking, unstaking, sending a transaction, something like that. Now with the Squirrel Wallet, which was the previous video I did, I will leave a link to that in the description, that can all be done through the wallet itself, but with Scatter you do need a third party site in order to connect to Scatter to it and perform those actions. From the Telegram, it looks like this is the one people are using. This is a lot like EOS Toolkit, you can vote, perform different actions with your tokens, manage your account, permissions, bandwidth, RAM, name auction, referendum, stuff like that. So as far as voting goes, you will need to attach Scatter, so a Scatter account is required, attach Scatter identity, Scatter pops up here. Telos mainnet account, log in, and now I am connected here through Scatter with my Telos mainnet account and can vote and perform all actions I need to do using Scatter. So there you go guys, there's a quick tutorial on Scatter setup for Telos. Hope this helps some of you out there. If you guys did enjoy this video or found it helpful, please make sure to drop a like on it. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell. There are videos to come with creating new accounts on Telos as well. So if you are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. But that's going to do it for me for this one. I will see you guys in the next one.